Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shapeshifting Detective. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And I'm Atoli. All right, we are Chief Dupont. And we're going to go visit Rain. Rain oh. doesn't care about Claude. Claude. Van Damme. No, Claude Jenks Dupont. That is true. Chief Claude Jenks Dupont. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> and no, neither does Lexi. And these people like are like where do they go? <laughs> they just they're all <laughs> they're all in the toilet. Yeah, right. All right. All right, Rain with your piercing blue eyes. Indeed. Too much spice. Hello. I'm Rain. Mm, mm. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Yep. That was weird. I don't remember him doing that. Yeah, this. he always did. Does that. he? Okay. Yep. He's always been a little more unsure. Fair enough. Violet. How you doing, girl? Who is Sophia? You saw her, did you? Yes. She's my goddaughter. At that age where she overshares. <laughs> is she a ghost? Rain would know if she was a ghost. I'm going to call it. Yeah, but like, but would he, I mean, what is, what is the point of this question? Why does he think? Because we as the players are probably thinking that little girl is a ghost or a traveler because dear God, I think she's a traveler. Oh yeah, no, 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 that's fair. And I so think she's red, a shapeshifter. I think they're red herring it. Should we ask? I, mean, I would not. Okay. I'm trying not to destroy these relationships. Right. Except for maybe Bronwyn and Violet. Right. Uh, Was it Bronwyn? Yeah. What is it, Rain? Oh, she's so perky. I have a plan. Do you? I want to hear this plan. You do. Enlighten me. Maybe Ella should stay with us. Yeah. Maybe. Stay with us. I. Or I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead and say what you were. No, saying. I think I actually think us is correct, but this is interesting. An interesting option to stay with Chief Dupont. Yes, my. But here would be better because then we could. We also could like us as Sam. Also, at this point, we believe travelers can possess. Yeah. And therefore, if he can possess one person, or she can possess one person. Right. Chief Dupont is one person. Yes. So. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. With our track record, if she gets killed anywhere near us, we'll be sent to jail, whether we did it or not. I think. What do you What do you think? I think he would say that. Yeah. I'm just being practical. Ellis's fate is in our hands. Ours isn't. Crazy. It's worth a shot. Yeah. What if DuPont stays with you all? Hi, yeah. Rain. Did you miss me while I was gone? You were gone? So, Ellis Monroe. I'm honestly not going to try and worry about this one. We've told Sam, and I think that's all we can do. What's Sam going to do, though? I believe Sam is going to save Ellis. According to the Ouija, this could play out in a lot of different ways, but mostly saving Ellis. What other ways, though? Indeed. Ellis could run, Ellis could die, Ellis could be saved, mistaken identity, someone else dies. There's a lot of noise coming from the beyond, but it's not just a load of voices saying Ellis will die. Sam's got this. She's very confident in us. We can't disappoint her. See, I think we built up points with her. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah, we also... We also we listened to her and all that well, stuff. Well, we listened to her, and we also had, I think, either Rain or Bronwyn be like, yeah, he's into you. Yes. Remember? Oh, yes, yes, we did. Uh, speaking of... Oh, yeah, we haven't been Bronwyn yet. We haven't been... We have not been Bronwyn yet. No, no, she talked to Violet. Remember, she got all in her face. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, right. Yeah, we, yeah. we were catty. Yep. Uh, all right. And then before we get to the secondaries... Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm Lexi. I'm Lexi. I'm Lexi. I'm Lexi. <laughs> all She's right. not that valley girl. No, but, no, no, but I am. Okay, that's fair. Wait, you don't like my shoes? Did you see the way she looked at my shoes? I did. I saw the way she how looked at your shoes. Lexi Corn, how thin are these walls? What do you mean the walls are thin? I can hear you screaming at your Ouija board last night too. I feel like I've heard your whole life story. Does Sam like me? Is Violet a lesbian? Will Ellis die? Will Bromwyn die? That last one, don't worry about that. <laughs> Because you're immortal? That, she would ask that. I was going to say, Alexi would. Yes, yeah, she would. Oh, hi. 
I am Bronwyn MacLeod from the Clan MacLeod, and I am immortal. You silly badger. I love her. She's great. I love that actress. She's good. She is good. All right. Uh, I like also that we got an achievement for that. Yes, we did for making her speak like a Mac like a fucking Highlander. Our job is so stressful. Tell me about it. Chasing around the unknown, trying to triumph good over evil, generally standing around helpless watching people die. So he, this is the Buffy squad. Yeah, they they really are. Um, why do we do it? I feel I, like she would know that. I I feel like actually I feel like the second question is less is less in character. You think so? Okay. Cuz I feel like the second one feels like a more question. Why don't we just quit? I yeah, I guess I, that's true. Whereas the other one I can f see more of the like flopping down the couch and going, "Why do we do it, Rain?" That's fair. <laughs> that's okay. That's my feeling. No, no, I like it. It's a common decency thing. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Did you know the earth was overrun by transdimensional evil? Want to help fix it? Sure. Transdimensional evil? See, that I wouldn't ask. The manual Lex. People are afraid of ghosts, zombies, and aliens. They never even think to consider the possibility that there are millions of universes, potentially with millions of predators, all far more evolved than we are. What are our chances of victory? Minuscule. But if we don't fight at all, zero. All right. So Maybe like the, the aliens. I mean, the traveler that have taken Violet <laughs> is also a traveler. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, the thing I would say is we don't even know that the traveler is actually a sentient, like humanoid. It could right. be an animal. Who would you like to start with of these? Once again, we're going from the left, so let's start as Alice and keep going. Unless you want to no, no, do like Oscar, because hi, I'm Alice. I'm Alice. Ooh. Oh, how do I be really creepy? Indeed. And a waifu, but really creepy. Yes. Hi, Violet. Well, so here's the thing. It, Violet doesn't really know her, right? That that was something that Violet said. She remembers her being here yeah. once, but she doesn't remember. Like, maybe do she'll you think talk they're to gonna... Ellis and talk about why she was there previously. Maybe. Okay, fine. I'm sold. Nope. Never mind. I'm waiting for the game to be like, you chose the wrong person to talk Bang. to the wrong person. And, and now shot. you're found out. Yep. Is it Bronwyn? She might just have no one to talk to. I like, yes, I like how did. Alice is just walking around this house. Yeah, I don't think she has anyone to talk to. I'll still try Lexi. But... Oh, absolutely. Try all of them. Lexi. It's interesting they give you the choice. Yeah. Like, it feels like she should be unavailable then. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And then, yep. We should not go to rain. Go, you do want not to go to rain. Yes, do not go to rain. I also don't think we should necessarily go to Lexi either because we're going, we're sending her to him. Yep, good point. So I think the only people we should go to are Violet. Are, is Violet actually? Because he doesn't have a reason to go to Bronwyn, right? No, he doesn't. Okay. Do we have anything here? I mean, yeah. Let's let, let's go. What have you been doing with Ellis Monroe? <laughs> the way she asked that. I mean, the first answer is very him, isn't it? It is, but I... It doesn't lead us anywhere. Yeah. Okay. The tarot readers have predicted that she's the next victim. Do you think we should do something? That's the thing. I don't think Violet did anything. I don't either. She's asking him if he wants to fool around. If, no, she. Or he's Zach, asking. We're her. asking her if she wants. Oh my God! Can we bang Violet as Zach? Let's try it. Is that really all you think about? Have you met me? Yes. To look like August and the serial killer targeting redheads. Look at my hair, Zach. Does this look red to you? I mean, it's kind of an orangish red. It's a red. Yes, I know. All right. All right. So then the boyfriend. Yeah. You don't want to go to Lexi? I don't think we should go to Lexi. That's fair. Yeah. I bet we get nothing there. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think we'd have anything to say to the psychics. Oscar might 
I see no problem with Oscar talking to anyone, though. No, no, no. Because yeah. Os- Oscar's also talked to Bronwyn. Yeah, so I think so. it's all right. Okay, so he doesn't have a And I think the game's at the point now Oh, where you know what? He's His alibi is clear, right? Yeah. But he might be able to get information that other people can't. Sure. Or he can talk to no one. Or he, yeah. I mean, that's the main re- I'm not talking to everyone because I think they're suspects. Uh-huh. I'm talking to everybody because people let information slip to different people for different reasons. Oh, no, no. I'm just, I, I realize that. And I, I agree. Mm-hmm. I'm also just trying to consider, like, what does the game think? Like, would these two characters even have a point of talking? Did they no. actually that's what that's, that's what happens when they don't show yeah. up. All right. So what should we do? We've. Uh... We well, should return to Sam. Okay. And ta- ask Violet about the aliens, and then ask Bronwyn for help. Okay. That's all we have left to do before we leave, and probably ending the chapter. Can we ask Rain for help at all? Maybe. Let's go ahead and talk to the three of them. Okay, Violet. Hi, hi Violet. Hi, Violet. We could go with the bluff. We've set it up. We have... I don't. He. Let's ask. Let's. She specifically said though, and I feel like the the kid. She mentioned actually that the kid talks too much. Yeah. So leading with the child might be better. Ease us into it. Good point. Yeah. yeah. She has a wicked imagination for her age. <sighs> that face. I. The first question softer. The mm-hmm. second question is a little more direct to the point. What do you think? Well, has she told Sam about the pills? I know she has talked about it to us as the players, but I can't DuPont remember. Dupont who... knows about them. It can be assumed Dupont has told us. If nothing else, and I do think it has been told to us. Okay. Do you want to ask about the pills then? I'm leaning into it. We're getting deeper into this game, and I think we have to start pushing. Okay. I was seeing and hearing things that weren't there. That's why I'm taking pills. Have you told anyone else about this? I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. (sighs) What do you want? I am... I mean, the first one is, is fine. She's already admitted to us... That she sees and yeah okay yeah no, no, she she admits that she sees and hears things that aren't there yeah so I feel like the first question do you is think not, you were abducted last is night? is that gonna like get the door shut in our face I don't think so yeah I wouldn't think so either all right why are you talking about this again you understand every time you mention abduction it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up I, don't... I mean we are a detective yeah. She has told us multiple times that she doesn't remember anything, though. Yeah. So I think we should leave it alone because she's starting to get a little freaked out. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Let it go. Okay, okay. I'm just exhaling because I'm like, we should have gone. Okay. Okay, we so we can set, leave this. We can leave, leave this. Leave it, come back. I have a feeling we need to do it. I, fe- I feel like we probably do. Because we pushed her there, but I feel like that's pushing her. Like, if we pushed one more time, mm-hmm. it might have been bad. Yeah, I agree. So we'll maybe we'll save it for next chapter. Oh, I don't think there is or- a saving next chapter, Angela. Fair enough. Oh, God. All right, visit Bronwyn. Yes. Hi, Bron. Uh, I, need I need your, your help. help. Yes, of course. Anything. Try to find out more from Mercury. Who is Mercury? Mercury is the card she talked about. And she's, who did she associate it with? It's a person. It's the person doing the killing. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Mercury is Mercury is the, the god Jupiter, right? In Roman myth, Roman Greek mythology. Wait, Jupiter? Or not Jupiter, sorry. Jupiter um, is Zeus. I, I know. Um, Mercury is... Which which of the gods? I don't know. Okay, whatever. It's associated with the cards, and she mentioned Mercury previously to us. I think it might have even been in this episode, but I can't... Yeah, there was a mention of Mercury, and I went, what? And right. You, and you who went, was yeah. It? And who, I was like, what? Who was it associated with? Violet? I have no idea what they're talking about with Mercury. There's a planet. There's a blue-haired sailor scout running around this game <laughs> suddenly, and I don't know what to do about it. No, I understand that. I, not... I missed the introduction of Mercury. I don't know what it's referring to. That's fine. Don't worry yourself about that. What I need you to tell me is which of the characters in this game did she bring up Mercury in context to? 
Because rain? that's that's what I'm asking. I think Rain or Lexi. It was definitely one of the psychics. When she was talking to one of the psychics, that's when the conversation happened that it came up. Okay. I don't know any other points about this 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 sailor scout. I don't want to have her keep an eye on Violet because I think we've pitted them against each other. I don't want to escalate that's that. That's true. Violet might shoot her at this point. Exactly. I think we should have her find out more about Mercury. Because I want to know I who can't... Mercury is. I, it's not a person. It's a planet. <laughs> I've already been doing that, but sure. Nope. I'll keep at it. Maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out. All right. So that was the wrong choice. You think so? I don't know. That was that reaction, but maybe by encouraging her to do that, she will actually get something out of it. That's what I'm hoping. All right. Like, I feel like that was, like, giving her the, like, no, you got this, girl. You can do it. Find out about Mercury. From Mercury. Or from Mercury. All right. I mean, I'm uh, assuming it's she's literally asking the, the, like, celestial object. Let's just go for it. Tell me about Birmingham. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. What happened to Yuri? The Butcher of Birmingham received three life sentences and won't be seeing the light of day anytime soon. We know it wasn't him, though. We know it was a traveler. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because we didn't get the other option there. No, that's that's. I think that's okay though, because we've not. That's the he's most... mentioned traveler, but we have not specifically called it out to any of them yet. Yeah, and now he's said it to Sam pretty bluntly. I don't feel problems asking anyone. Right. That shadow. Yeah. Hi, Lexi. How hey, you Lexi. doing? Hey, Lexi. All right. So, so, so she's just she's done. We've had her help aliens. us. Aliens. 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 Violet. All right. Good Violet. Violet. Yeah, raise the eyebrow, girl. The chief said you tell me about the abduction. I don't really want to. I think we need... What do you think? I think we need to. Okay. Tell me. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. Cold tap. Drip. 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 And then it began. I could smell iron, a strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. And then weightlessness, like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. First time? It's happened five times, even on Clozapine. Get that strange aura, then I'm gone. I tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. You've forgotten everything? Yeah, that's definitely the better. No. I have certain flashbacks. We have nothing else we can She's do. She's calm right now. Yeah, I feel like, and here's the thing: we have we either push here or we leave it forever for the next chapter. Yeah. Let's go. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others' heads. All prisoners being experimented on. Mm hmm. Experimented on? Just like I feel like if we didn't have a better relationship with her, these would be stopping points. Yeah. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. Awkward. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Bruises, memories. 
All right. So probably not. Hey, Monroe, have you had any weird dreams of alien abduction that involves a, a wooden wall that your head's sticking out of that drips with pain? I have some ideas on what that might be. Let's see if the radio has anything to add. All right. In particular, it's a physical need for life. So what we're also dealing with here is the loss of money. What you Don't think so. No. Ladies and gentlemen, with that revelation, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Ben Atoli. And we will see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.